सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स और वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वेरी स्पेशल वीडियो आई एम अभिनव मिश्रा एंड यू आर वाचिंग अभी कोडे क्रिएटिव माइंड दिस वीडियो इज रियली वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल एंड वेरी वेरी इन्फॉर्मेटिव ऑल्सो बिकॉज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द रेस्बरी पाई मॉडल फोर बी बाई द वे इट कैन बी एनी रेस्बरी पाई दे आर अवेलेबल इन मैनी वेरियंस रेस्बरी पाई जीरो वन टू थ्री और फोर विच आई एम हैविंग करेंटली and the latest powerful one which i don't have but it's really very very powerful you can also run applications ai applications smoothly on that that is the raspberry pi 5 by the way this is a raspberry pi model b having 8 gigs of ram okay but there is no limit of storage in it i will say how but first of all we will see everything about it if you are a beginner you don't have any technical skills and you are getting new into this then this video is absolutely for you you can come here i will give you everything whatever is needed and whatever knowledge is needed to how to set up it for the first time how to display it how to flash the os everything so let's get started after the intro coming back you can see that this is a raspberry pi 4b having a heat sink installed by the way i have installed a heat sink on it which was not there by the way and i have um, means purchased it from amazon which is very nice case having two small cpu fans which keeps the cpu cool okay and now let's see what are the specifications it has 8 gigs of ram that are available in many variants 4 2 or even 1 gb i would prefer to take 4 gb at least because 2 or 1 gb is not going to work out but by the way i am having 8 gigs of ram for now and there is no limit of storage because as 8 gigs of ram and you can see this is the micro sd card and you can plus as much as storage you want you can plus as much as things you want by the way because of this heat sink i am unable to show the micro sd card slot here you can just take it and plug it in like this Okay, my God, it's not placed. Okay, so you can place it like that. Okay, yep, like this. So if we come to here, this side you can see this is a Type C port having uh, for the power. This this is a Model B, so that is the reason why it is having a um, Type C port. These are two micro HDMI ports for the power output. Sorry, display output. It can give 60 FPS till 4K, which is really very very awesome. Okay, and you can see that this is a headphone and microphone jack over here. Okay, now you can see here you are here you are getting two USB 2.0 ports and two USB 3.0 ports and an Ethernet hub. That is really very very amazing. It's a full-fledged computer in your hand and at very affordable rate as compared to any computer. Now this is the GPIO pins, which is the main functionality of it. You can use these GPIO pins, pins for any of the project you want. So, by the way, first step is to flash the operating system on it. By the way, it can handle any operating system. It can handle Windows, Mac, Linux. By the way, its uh, manufacturer officially provides. Uh, it's operating system which is the Raspberry OS. So we are going to flash the Raspberry OS on this. By the way, I am having this 64 GB Samsung Evo. Okay. If you can directly connect it to your computer, that's great. If it's having a micro SD card slot, but no, then you can take the help of this type of converters, which is a SD card adapter. You can just plug it in simply. Like this, and you can plug it into your computer. And if you don't have SD card slot at all or micro SD card slot at all, then you can also uh, get a USB to SD card converter, which is micro SD card converter, which is available in Amazon. I am not having it currently. So let's get into the first step: how to flash the operating system on it. So here we are on our computer screen. So first of all, you need to open Chrome and go to this website, which is Raspberry Pi dot com. Okay. This is the website here. You can see this is the Raspberry Pi A5, which is very um, great. You can purchase it from here also. By the way, you will come to the software section. First of all, we need the operating system Raspberry Pi OS. Okay, for this we will be uh, using this um, Raspberry Pi install uh, means Raspberry Pi Imager. Okay, which is really very uh, good option if you want. 
by the way if you want to manually download you can also take the image of the pi os by here okay so by the way i am not take that i will directly uh, come here and download this this is much easy safer for the beginners and easy too okay so now let it install so it is being installed here okay so now we can go the file explorer this is the image double click on it allow it yes close it by the way these processes are for windows you can do the similar type of process for the mac and linux if you are having okay so click on install it will install the image it will not take much time it is a very small software now i'll click on finish now what do you need to do is plug your sd card in which we have uh, done in the uh, video just now we have done it now plug it in okay so it's plugged in you can see this is the sd card i will close it for now now choose this just a second you can choose the device which you want you can see raspberry pi 5 raspberry pi 4 raspberry pi 2 if you have any of them raspberry pi 3 2 you can select it from here by the way i am having raspberry pi 4 and model b so i will select this okay now i'll choose the operating system by the way i am going for the 64 bit it's recommended and i am also having a 64 bit raspberry pi okay but whatever recommended it is showing you can go with that as you are a beginner now select the storage now very important thing if you have any other pen drive or sd car i mean ssd mounted from the external source it will detect that also so make sure to select the right drive it is showing only one because i have only connected the sd card which is of 64 gb as i have said you but if it is any other and you click it we are going to mess up and you are going to crash your windows or mac system okay so that's very very important and make sure that in which sd card you want to flash the os that doesn't contains any important file okay so i'll select this now click on next by the way it is asking if you want to apply os customized setting click on edit now you can see this is uh, the username set this is the host name remember these all things okay raspberry pi is your host name it is already set in. this is the pi set a password here that would be better okay so i'm giving a password to it okay so now here is your uh, wi-fi which it is connected to i will give the password of my wi-fi also okay yeah so it's given now you need to do nothing that's it for now you can just go to services enable ssh if, if it is not uh, checked click on it and then don't click on this click on this use password authentication okay now that's it no need to do anything else. now click on save now click on yes and it is showing that all existing data will be raised click on yes now it will take some time to flash the operating system on the micro sd card so let's wait till then as you can see finally it's showing that it's flashed on my sd card i can click on continue now i can close this image and i can remove my sd card so i have removed now let's plug it onto the raspberry pi now the steps are only left to do the configuration and connections in the raspberry pi now that's really very easy so let's get started yeah so here we have our operating system installed on this sd card now now we can plug it off this is and if you see here carefully i'm unable to show because of this heat sink i said you you can just plug it like this if the raspberry pi is like this flip it up come to the down and just place it oppositely like this till it is not properly fitted okay means the head portion of this sd card will be down means upside down position okay now that's it now give the power uh, power to it and then i will show you the further process by the way you can take an overall out view that how less power this device takes this is a very powerful computer but then also it can run on a power bank can you imagine it can run on a power bank 
that's really very very amazing thing so if i will show you you can see i have kept the power bank here no i am not taking an extra power from anywhere if i plug it in you will see the fan will start and the led will blink up you can see the machine is on raspberry pi is on okay by the way it's not going to work now because i have not flashed the os yet and now it's off you can see fan has stopped so that's really amazing okay so after everything now we need to connect it to a computer okay for that you need to uh, of course you need a display you can take a raspberry pi uh, officials display that way it's available in uh, amazon robo.in and every site ebay also okay so for now i will connect it to the monitor and you can see this is the hdmi cable and at this side this is a micro hdmi cable you can see this this will go to your monitor and this will go to your pi so this way if you come here you can just connect it like this okay this will also be down and don't connect in this one by the way from the primary one just plug it in after the type c port or power jack this is the primary port of it okay that's it now i'll connect it to my laptop okay now if you are uh, your monitor is not having hdmi then also you can do that you can take this um jack okay which is a vga to hdmi converter by the way you can connect this both and this you can connect to your vga monitor if you are having both male then you can use this converter okay but make sure that this places are correct okay so input will go here this side and the output will come at this side yes like this and now you can plug it to your vga computer so for now i'll plug it to, to my hdmi monitor now you need to do a simple thing that is to give power okay like this yep the fans are on lights are on and it's connected now let's get started okay so yeah after booting we can see that we are on the raspberry pi's screen and this is how the raspberry os looks like this is the start button with the raspberry pi logo here you get different applications for programming internet sound and video you get vlc media player graphics image viewer accessories you also get many things you also get the imager uh, to flash another for another pi also help preferences and also the run command which is very useful and this is finally the shutdown option by which you can shut down reboot or log out from a pc so that's really very very amazing here you can get your wi-fi from which you are connected by the way now i'm not going to do that okay let me do the password okay so that's it you are having bluetooth by the way i'm having an update i will update it soon so that's it guys how to use it this is the terminal by which you can give all the commands and uh, this is the file explorer of it it's a linux based simple very short and i would say lean and clean one so i basically like that and if you want to change you can go right click and go and do desktop preferences by here you can see change the images okay like this you can change some pre-installed images are given like that okay and you can change the wallpaper also so i hope guys you like this video and i will bring many videos on raspberry pi hope this tutorial is very very helpful for you as you are a beginner now you are able to use raspberry pi totally so i will see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye